Welcome to BH Advisor Accounting, Management, Consulting, Leader in Global Business Expansion. This Simon, he's a businessman who has a lot of business in many countries, and he wants to create a business in Morocco. For many reasons, including that Morocco is arable land for any business, so this gold egg for investors who wish to start a successful business, also Morocco has many benefits like the government's support, low cost of doing business, great business opportunities. But many investors have questions like, to enter the Moroccan market, is it better to set up a subsidiary or a branch? What are the main differences between a subsidiary and a branch in Morocco? Which legal form is more advantageous for a company in Morocco? Is it necessary to have a Moroccan partner to invest in Morocco? Are there any restrictions for foreign investors in Morocco? When entering the Moroccan market, the first question is also whether a subsidiary as a separate legal entity is preferable to a branch without its legal personality. And what are the main differences between a subsidiary and a branch in Morocco? The subsidiary and the branch are two reasonable options for starting a business activity in Morocco. Both are related to a parent company but have important differences. First and foremost, the subsidiary in Morocco is an autonomous legal entity separate from the parent company with its legal personality even if the shares of the subsidiary are wholly owned by the parent company. The subsidiary, on the other hand, has no legal autonomy. Therefore, only the subsidiary can acquire contractual rights and obligations in its name. No share capital is required to set up a branch, but it is required for a subsidiary, although no minimum capital is required for the SIRL, the most common form of company. The cost of incorporation also varies but depends more on the complexity of the process, appointment of directors, memorandum, and articles of association, the composition of governing bodies, than on the share capital. Another aspect to consider is the liability of the parent company. The latter is liable for the obligations entered into by the branch, as the latter is not an independent entity. The liability of the shareholders of the subsidiary, and also the liability of the foreign parent company as a shareholder of the Moroccan subsidiary, on the other hand, is in principle limited to the share capital. But which legal form is more advantageous for a company in Morocco? Against the background of these main differences, the choice of legal form for entering the Moroccan market ultimately depends on the specific circumstances of the individual case. Generally speaking, from a strategic point of view, the branch can be a first step towards establishing an economic activity in Morocco without the need to incorporate a company. The branch office allows the investor to evaluate the progress of the business in small steps. From a purely administrative point of view, the process of establishing a branch is simpler than that of a subsidiary. Even though the subsidiary usually involves higher startup costs, it also has its advantages over the branch, especially the limitation of liability. In the event of litigation, losses or liquidation, the parent company, or if it exists, the group of companies is usually not affected unless there are grounds for pass-through liability. A subsidiary in Morocco should be considered directly if the engagement in Morocco is planned for the long term. And next question, is it necessary to have a Moroccan partner to invest in Morocco? There is no legal obligation in Moroccan law to give part of the shares in the company to a local partner. Choosing the right local partner is often the biggest challenge because language and cultural barriers make it difficult to assess the situation reliably. On the other hand, cooperation with a local partner who has networks and knowledge of the country is often indispensable. The last question is if are there any restrictions for foreign investors in Morocco? The answer is no. In general, foreign investment is not subject to any restrictions, regardless of the type of business you wish to set up in Morocco. Some sectors are an exception, such as agriculture, fisheries, and the audiovisual sector. Although there are no relevant differences between local and foreign investments in Morocco, it is considered necessary to know and respect the rules of the foreign exchange market, as the possibility of repatriating investment capital, capital gains, and dividends depend on this. In Morocco, the legal framework that protects and regulates foreign investments is set out in the so-called investment charter, Shot de investissement. We will conclude this video by quoting from the book Blue Ocean Strategy, Expanded Edition, How to Create Uncontested Market Space and Make the Competition Irrelevant, by Chan Kim, Rene Marbonne. Value innovation is the cornerstone of the Blue Ocean Strategy. 
We call it to value innovation because instead of focusing on beating the competition, you focus on making the competition irrelevant by creating a leap in value for buyers and your company, thereby opening up new and uncontested market space. We are here to guide you through anything and everything related to starting your own business in Morocco. You'll never have to worry about any special paperwork or work permits ever again. And all we discussed in this video, you will find the link to the document in the description box of this video. Please click the like button and leave a comment below. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. Ring the bell so you get notified every time we release.